going on, everybody? It's Spunky Nice and I want to come you guys another video. Come at you guys, my Eagles Buccaneers wild card uh, preview. So, you guys know how I feel already at this point. Um, I honestly don't have much faith at all in this Eagles team right now. I'm hoping they can prove me wrong. They can go on the playoff run and, you know, and just shock, shock everybody. That's what we all, uh, all of us as Eagle fans want, you know. And no matter what, I'm always going to love this team. I'm always going to uh, uh, push for this team, you know, root for this team. But I also have to be realistic with what I'm seeing. And what I'm seeing right now, it just, it just do not, it, it don't look like a football team that's playing to, to win. It looks like a team that's pretty much giving up on their head coach and giving up on the season, which is a damn shame because this could be Jason Kelsey's last year in Philadelphia Eagles um, as a Philadelphia Eagle. You know, his, the last year of his career in general. Uh, same thing with Brandon Graham and Fletcher Cox. And for their, their for what could be their last year, for the for it to just look like this, because it has not looked good all year, and it's been a and you know the last five of the last six games have been have been a just complete you know complete collapse. So yeah, but at least one more game for the Eagles, which is Monday night. And if you saw my weekly pick video, the, the wild card pick video, you already know who I'm picking to win this game. Um, I believe if the Eagles win this game, it's going to come down to running that ball. You know, we got bad news that A.J. Brown uh, will not be playing this game. But, uh, you know, everybody has to step up. Uh, everybody has to step up in his absence and get the job done. But I'll believe it when I see it. Um, I got the Buccaneers win this game by a score of um, 20 to 17. I don't think either team is going to put up a ton of points. I think it's going to be one of those games that goes into the um, fourth quarter and the field goal wins the game for the Buccaneers, sending them on to the division around. And then the Eagles going to the offseason, making the, nece the necessary moves to, to come back stronger next year, you know. Um, I'm hoping I'm wrong on that. I would love for, the, like I said, I would love for the Eagles to go out there and kick the Buccaneers' butt. You know, just go out there and, um, you know, just kick their behind and head to the divisional round. A.J. Brown come back in the vi divisional round, but I'll believe it when I see it. This team has got me to that point where I can't pick them to win any game right now because they have looked so inconsistent all season. But the keys to victory are always the same. It, it never changes. You know, it starts up with the um, the, the, the big men up front. Offensive line, defensive line. Um, in this game, Nick Seriani, run the damn ball. We've been saying that to you all year. Run the damn ball. You have a running back in DeAndre Swift who is a 1,000-yard running back. Should have been more if we actually committed to the run more this season. He should have had more than just over 1,000 yards. But you have a very good running back in DeAndre Swift. Get the ball in his hands. Run the ball, especially when you got a quarterback at Jalen Hurts who's dealing with a disc. Well, he had a, a, a disc. Uh, he suffered a dislocated um, middle finger against the um, in, in the, uh, the the last game of the season against the Giants. Take pressure off him. Get the running game going because I really do think we can exploit this uh, Buccaneers front seven. It's not exactly the most talented front seven. I think we could definitely exploit them if we if we decide to commit to the run. I think we could definitely exploit this um this front seven of the uh, Buccaneers. Um, run that ball. That will open up things in the pass game, the play action pass. Then of course getting uh, Dallas Goddard involved. You know, getting Dallas Goddard involved with the play action pass, and then getting guys like um Devontae Smith, Julio Jones, who I expect to see more on the field in this game in the absence of um AJ Brown, um Zacharias, and the, and of course um you know getting you know, just getting those guys involved. You know. Uh, Chris Walkers as well. Can't forget him as well. So it, it comes down to getting that running game going, which will in, in turn open up the passing game. You know, offensive line's got to be better. You know, this offensive line, we have always talked about how good this offensive line is. They're one of the best offensive lines in the league, if not the best. But even they have struggled during this um, this um, this losing streak. You know, this, not you know, yeah, doing this. Um, collapse at the end of the season, they have struggled as well. They have been giving up more pressure and they have been giving up more sacks. And that includes guys like Lane Johnson, who 
is undoubtedly the uh, one of, if not the best, right tackles in the game. It's not played particularly well. Um, just the whole team in general, man, it has just been awful, especially the last um, couple weeks of the season. But I'm hoping, you know, with with everything that's on the line here, you know, we can still we can still do something here. But we have got to come together. We have got to get our shit together because right now, one game you're done. Bottom line, one game you're done. So unless you guys want to go on vacation early, get your head out your ass and get the job done. On defense, defensive line has got to get better. You know, defensive line has not been getting much pressure at all. Very few sacks in the last few weeks. And that's been a big, a, a big reason why our defense has been struggling because our secondary trash. Just keep that honest. So you need a good pass rush from the D-line to help the secondary, um, you know, who dropped back in coverage. So D um, guys like, uh, I'm challenging guys like Josh Sweat, Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, you know, um, Jalen uh, Carter, Nola Smith, um, no, I'm, I'm sure I said Josh Sweat name already, but I'm challenging these guys to bring their A game in this game. Get the pressure, get the pressure, get in the face of Baker Mayfield. If you can get in the face of Baker Mayfield, he is one of those guys that will definitely make mistakes when he has pressure on him. But we have got to get the pressure on him. We cannot allow this guy to feel comfortable in that pocket. Because when you allow him to feel comfortable in that pocket, he has two of the best receivers in the game, and Chris Godwin and Mike Evans. Mike Evans. <laughs> Thank goodness Darius Slay is back. That that's a big that's that's a big um. You know, having him back is big. I, I, I'm hoping that we still see more Keely Ringo, Avante Mass is healthy at corner. Um. Yeah, because I I know. James Bradbury, I don't really have, I still don't have much, I don't have much faith for James Bradbury. He was very good for us last year, but this season he's been just awful. But I'm hoping that he brings his A game. I'm hoping that, like I said, Keely Ringo and, and Maddox, those guys are on the field more. They're, you know, welcome back, Darren Slay. Uh, secondary has got to, it's got to, uh, got, got to, they got to bring the A game in this game because we're going up against, like I said, two of the best receivers in the game and Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Uh, both of those guys, they have to be looking at their charts right now. And they look at this Eagle secondary, which is at the in the bottom of the league when it comes to giving up um, uh, passing yards per game. They 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 got to be. There's no way you can tell me those those guys are not like okay, yeah, this is gonna be a good game for us. But let's make sure it's not a good game for them. Let's make sure that we have these guys covered and and you know you know stop playing so far off with these uh, off the ball off the line of scrimmage. Cover these guys and. Uh, Take away Baker Mayfield's options because both of those guys I could easily see having a, having a hundred plus yards this game, but I'm crossing my fingers, crossing my fingers that that's not the case and that the Eagles defense shows up to play because it is the playoffs. We are zero zero. It is a whole new you know, whole new ball game in the playoffs. You know what you did in the regular season is irrelevant to what you're gonna do in the playoffs. So I'm hoping that. This team comes out energized, pumped up, and with something to prove. And they start by taking it out on the Buccaneers and going on some magical playoff run. But as a realistic fan, I have to be realistic with what I'm seeing. So, yeah, I believe it when I see it. I'm, ho I'm crossing my fingers again that that's what I'm going to see, but I believe when I see it. Um, special teams, uh, I think special teams have been one of the few bright spots of this season. Um, Britton Covey, who I used to be a big critic of, has won me over. I think he, I think he's a great uh, return man. No, no, we're gonna need some good returns for him in this game to set up, no, set up the offense well. Um, best kick, no, one of the best. I'm not gonna say best, no, because the best is Justin Tucker, but easily a top five kicker in the league. And Jake Elliott has been phenomenal all season. You know, offense, special teams, defense, everybody has to do their job. If everybody comes together. And you know, we're, we're we're on the same page all game. Then yeah, I can see the Eagles win this game. I can see them winning this game. But it's going to come down to this coaching and their adjustments. Nick Sirianni, you're playing for your job. Because I'm I'm saying it right now. If the Eagles are one and done in the playoffs, Nick Sirianni is. I, I think he's as good as gone. I honestly do. I think he's gone if we don't get back to the Super Bowl. Being quite honest, because. 
you got a great deal of coaches out there available right now, big name coaches, and Nick Sirianni got to get his shit together. The whole everybody got to get their shit together. So Nick Sirianni, run the ball. Get that ball in the hands of your, of your of, um, DeAndre Swift. Of course, missing Gainwell, uh, Boston Scott. Not sure, you know, if they're going to do anything with the with Sean Payne. They've done very little with him all season. But run that ball. Take, take some pressure off of Jalen Hurts, especially when he's nursing a, uh, um, you know, what was a dislocated uh, finger. Take, take some pressure off your quarterback. Run that ball. Because I really do think we can exploit this, um, this Tampa Bay Buccaneers front seven with the running game. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for the best. I'm going to be rooting for my team no matter what. Crossing my fingers, crossing those fingers. But I believe when I see it. I got the Buccaneers winning by a score of 20 to 17, which sends the Eagles into the offseason. And the Eagles have to make some big decisions about the future of this team because, if, you know, if we look, you know, because this right here is supposed to be a Super Bowl contender team. This is supposed to be a team that's, that's trying to get back to the Super Bowl. And right now, the way they've looked all season, not just doing that rough loser stretch, the way they've looked all season, they have not looked like a team that is, you no know, contending for a Super Bowl. They're they're in the playoffs by by, by luck, though. Know, because let's let's keep it honest. At least out, out of those eleven games they won, at least um, eight of them could have went the other way. So they're in the playoffs by luck, and obviously, of course, when you're in the playoffs, you have a chance. You know, when you when you're one of those fourteen teams that make the playoffs, you have a chance. But the competition, get, you know, is you know the best competition is of course in the playoffs, and you've been losing to some of the worst competition in doing this losing streak. But get your head out your ass, man. A.J. Brown get healthy. If the Eagles make it past the um, the Buccaneers, we're definitely going to need you in the divisional round. So get healthy, man. I know you made a big a big effort to try to get you know, come and play in this game. But the most important thing is that you that you're as healthy as possible, especially if we get we get past the Buccaneers because we're going to need you if we go up against teams like the Lions and the 49ers and settle. We're going to need you. So. First and foremost, we gotta get this game out of the way. Hopefully, we get you know we get the W and we um, advance to the um, divisional round. But it's gonna come down to a complete team effort. Everybody on the same page. Everybody playing for one another. That's what it's gonna come down to. So um yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's my preview. As always, go birds. Spunky guys on one's out of here. Flag or fly. Peace. That's all, folks.